I can't wait to get up in the morning. I get up, I slap my palms together, I clap my hands. It's going to be a great day. Ha <laughs> ha. And I attack life. Carpe diem. And I know there are negative people and negative situations that happen every day, especially when you're selling it. It's just life. I sent my mom and my two yippity yappity talker vans to the home of her ancestors, Ireland. Half of me is Italian, as I said. The other half of me is Irish. I'm a volatile mix of Gaelic and garlic. <laughs> well, my mom goes over. I sent them, all three of them over, and they have a great time. Ten days later, they come back. I said, Mom, how was the trip? She says, Patty, the trip was great, except we had this one nasty, negative American tourist who complained about everything. The weather was too wet, the hotel was too damp, the food was too bland, the beer was too warm, the lines were too long, the prices were too high, the people were too rude. You know one of those variable complaint machines, some of you like to take by the nape of the neck and right out the bus window with it closed? <laughs> well, this patient, positive Irish tour guide was not going to allow this SOB to affect his group. No way. Not so much as a suggestion of a friend. He wasn't going to allow it. Well, they get to the Blarney Castle. Ah! And they're in all the bedroom chambers and the great dining hall and the antique weapons room. But in the heart of every person of Irish descent, there's an overwhelming longing for one thing and one thing only. That's right. Mwah! Kiss that Blarney Stone and be guaranteed the skill of eloquence and good luck. Unfortunately for my mom's group, the stone was roped off for repairs. Yeah, need I tell you that the complaint machine was firing on all cylinders? <laughs> this lady went ballistic, and she's screaming and yelling and spitting profanity in this poor Irish guy's face, and he's trying to placate her. He's trying to just make her feel okay, chill out. No luck. She's crying and claiming she's been defrauded, demanding her money back, and finally he says, man, man, please. Legend has it, if you've kissed someone who's kissed the stone, it's as if you kiss the stone itself and your luck will be guaranteed. Well, this woman with her face all twisted and her ugly scowl, she snorts her skeptical reply, and I suppose you've kissed it? And the man says, he smiles and says, oh, no, ma'am, I've done better than that. I sat on it. 